the Sneaky Link is back tonight. And this is What OS Beta 3, the most current beta from What OS. Now, do you remember last time I looked at this? I wasn't too happy with it, was I? It was bits and bobs just didn't work and stuff like that. And I thought, we'll give it a go and leave it until the next beta come out. And so this is the beta 3. And I must say, it has improved enormously, as you can see. It's a lot brighter screen before we start, so something's better in the driver section up there in the kernel. So that's good for me. Nice and clean background there. I'll show you what we've got here. Audio structure, Brazera, Exhale, Movie Player, Sound Recorder. We've got Gimping graphics and an image viewer. Stuff in settings there. System tools, a few bits and bobs there. Not too much. It's not a big download, so don't worry too much. Claws and Firefox with pigeon and transmission there. Jolly good. And Office, we've got Abbey Word and G Numeric. And accessories, you've got the X terms and stuff like that. So we're going to open up Abbey Word. Nice and quick, nice and bright. A lot better than the last one. A loads and loads better. It's 266, so that's cool. You might have to add some dictionaries and stuff, but hey. Who cares? It has to be done sometimes, doesn't it? OK, open up the menu again. Where should we go? I think we'll open up Numeric as well, just to make sure. Nice and quick, as you would expect. It's lovely. A job, a Nice. They have actually improved it a lot. It's so much quicker. So, so much. Because I was doing a bit of a downer with it last time. Anyway, this is my first bit of a downer, but it's not the OS's fault here. So when you open Firefox, it goes straight to their one. There you go. What OS? That's the one we're using, the Beta Live CD. Tells you all about it, etc. And here's what I normally do, as you all know. I boot up Google. Oh, I got BBC News or BBC or whatever. There we go. And normally we click there, and BBC comes up. Well, BBC weren't playing ball this night, so I've had to edit the video slightly. So what we've actually gone and done is gone to ITV instead. So we'll put up the ITV screen. Nice and bright, colours are good. It is 100% better than the last one, that's all I'm going to say really. It's nice down there, look. Lovely. It's not Firefox 3.5, but hey, that's got a bit of a problem at the moment anyway, so I hear. But hey, works nice. We'll come out of him. Lovely. Exhale. Now, you remember last time, I had a bit of a bummer on this as well. Yeah, I wasn't very happy about it, was I? So, anyway, same as all the others, look. I'm going to go over and have a look at the old radio section again to see if it works this time. Oh, uh, that's good. Looking good, looking good. Where should we go? We'll go alternative. I don't know. Emo? Is that, is that Brian Emo? Or is that not a cleaner? Oh, no. It's not. OK. We'll have a look. What should we click on? Yeah, anyone would do. We'll click on the Black Eyed Peas somewhere here in Seattle. And yes, we are working and I have music. I'm glad they fixed that bit. Jolly, jolly, jolly good. There's plenty of other options here too for you. So there. What OS has improved quite a bit, hasn't it, really? From the last one. I mean, it was a bit... Ooh. Look, I'll open the email section up. It's Claws Mail. Now, I'm not going to set it up for you, but it's really, really simple. It's as good as Thunderbird, I suppose. Yeah, not too bad. You can always get Thunderbird if you want. If you don't like Claws or any others. But there's lots of other mail clients anyway, isn't there? So, where to next? Where should we go? Oh, yes, indeed. I don't know. There's loads here, see? Well, loads for a small CD, anyway. So, anyway. That's it. We'll open up Gimpy. Uh, now, this was a bit slow. But hey, it's still only beta 3, so I'm not too worried. By the time the release candidate comes out, we should go whoosh over the top, hopefully. So I can't wait for that one. Gimpazes look nice, it's all there. We come out of him. Lovely. Greatly improved. Uh, not much more for me to show you, really. If you right click, this is what you get desktop settings, etc. Create new, paste icons. You can change your wallpaper. Size of the icons you can change, and there's an advanced section there too. So, on the whole, it's jolly bleeding good, really, isn't it? Don't you think? Oh, yes. So, if you like it, go download the ISO. Lovely. Sneaky Linux out.